What's up? What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy lunch, right? Because a lot of us should be at lunch right now. Um, And I'm just looking at something. But I am so excited to do this chat with you guys about keto and Herbalife. And if you are on the keto journey, I can kind of like help help you to understand certain things and um, also give you like my recommendations. If you're like, D, I really want to do Herbalife because I think that, you know, I love what you do. Or I want to support or I want to try it. But I also really like how keto makes me feel or um, maybe that's the diet that your doctor puts you on or whatever it is, right? So um, I just felt that I, I can offer my experience within keto and um, just my professional opinion. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I do not claim to treat or cure any diseases or situations you have in your body. If you have any questions or concerns, go to your doctor. Do not come to me about no advice because I don't know. You're not going to sue me. I'm not going down that road with y'all. So all I can do is give you what I've learned from my own personal experience in doing keto, um, what my clients have done. And I can just come from a very honest place because I've done both consistently and I like was deeply studying keto like some years ago. So um, I just wanted to, you know, tell you guys that. All right. If you agree, please stay on this video. If you don't click off of that mug. Right. So this video is not for to tell you if keto is right or wrong. It is not to tell you if Herbalife is for you or it's not. It's just simply an educational experience for all of us. OK, so number one. Let me say this. Keto is a real diet that a lot of medical professionals put their clients on to control um, epilepsy, like serious situations of epilepsy. Um, A lot of times keto is used to correct type 2 diabetes, right? Um, But still, that is for the doctor to decide. That's number one. Um, Hey, Brandon. Number two, keto... It should should be a protocol, okay? I'm just going to use these terminologies. Keto should be a way of life. It's not just food. It's also sleep. Um, It's also interactions with people, keeping your stress levels down and all that. So keto is a lifestyle. Because people who do keto don't make the decision to get off of, ever get off of keto. It's not like a diet where we're like, well, sometimes I'm going to take time off, okay? So keto is not one of those things. Um, What I found is that we use the word keto when really we want to talk about low carb, right? So a lot of us say, I'm doing keto this week, but then I'm only going on vacation and then I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to go back. Well, in order to be in dietary ketosis, sometimes that takes two, three, six weeks to do, right? Of being very, very strict on your diet, making sure that you read your body of all of the carbohydrates within your body, all right? So to say I'm doing keto at this time just means perhaps you're following, um, the foods that are keto friendly, right? So let's just put it that way. And the interesting part is a lot of times in the black community, you know, even in the Southern community, I'll say we are just super sensitive to carbs anyway, super sensitive to sugar. And we're more disposed to health disparities from diabetes, all of that stuff. So keto works for us. Low carbohydrate diet works for us because Eating too much sugar, eating too much bread, eating too much rice, eating too much candy does the same things to our bodies, all right? So I'm just going to say that much. Now, when it comes to can you do keto in Herbalife, the first thing I ask people is, are you doing keto or are you doing low carb, okay? And if you're doing keto, then you need to tell me how many carbohydrates do you have to stay within in a day in order to maintain you being in a lifestyle, right? You maintain you staying in ketosis, okay? So it's not just eating high fat, eating high protein, eating bacon, eating butter all day because it just sounds like a fun easier thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be very, very transparent. When I first heard of keto a few years ago, I was like, 
oh, I can put butter on everything and I can get, you know, high quality ghee and I can do bacon and I can do steak and I can do this and that. And that's all the things I love. That's not a problem for me. Like, so you're saying I can have like fettuccine sauce now and I can put, I can dip my steak and my chicken in there. You know, I can mix it around. I love that stuff. That's not a problem. Then, then I really understood that it ain't, it ain't like that. It ain't like that. So number one, what is keto to people who need more clarity on what keto is? Keto is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb protocol. Okay. And like Grace says, it's a lifestyle and a science. Okay. And you should really like get with the doctor, especially if you have other health challenges that could complicate, you know, what's going on. You have any contraindications or whatever. So that's what the keto protocol is. Okay. Um, number two, if you're not really doing, if you're like, I'm not following the protocol, I'm just doing keto friendly foods. I'm doing low carb. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. In that case, you can do Herbalife. You just got to tell me how many carbs you want to stay under a day. So for more, most people who do keto, they stay between 20 and 50 carbs a day. And, and from that, a lot of people experience like less inflammation, they experience um, less holding of the water. And primarily that's because we're just not eating as much carbs, right? So one thing I do want to say is don't get into keto or low carb cold turkey. You want to ease yourself into dropping your carbohydrates down, especially if you're in a job that requires you to think a lot. Um, a job that's like stressful because you're just going to rebound over to overeating anyway. Okay. So the reason why I know a lot of people are like, I chose keto because my home girl lost 20 pounds in a month and I want to lose 20 pounds in a month. Well, initially when people start keto or any low carb diet, as you drink water, right, that'll flush out the extra carb, excess carbohydrates. So a lot of the weight that you lose is water weight. And you will find that that's true with any type of eating change is that a lot of times when we just correct our errors, we, we drink a lot more water, a lot more active, and then we'll lose that more weight, right? So you will see people, even people who do keto, they're not going to lose 20 pounds every single month for, for a year, right? No, right? It, it might happen in one month and then five pounds and then you're back to what what the, what the suggestion for weight loss is anyway, is half a pound to two pounds per week max, right? That's, that's what you'll see after a while. So, um, first step would be like, decide how many carbs you want to eat a day. That's a personal decision, you guys, right? Most of us are just, we, we know low carb works for us because of different lifestyles, right? Um, you have to decide that. That's nothing for me to decide. If you are doing true keto, then you need to pee on a stick or have a glucometer or get your your glucose measured to make sure you're in ketosis. All right. Um, And that's all I'm going to say about that, because most people are not in ketosis, especially people who decide, like, I'm not going to do keto today. Right. You You can't be like, I'm not doing keto today. You can't decide that because it's a lifestyle. But if you're doing low carb, then for sure you can decide how to put that into your life. All right. Um, one thing I do want to say is keto and weight loss. Okay. So I just told you at the beginning, the reason why people lose a lot of weight with ketosis is because the carbohydrates are being flushed out of the body initially through what, through the water intake. Okay. Um, the, uh, the other, the other way that people are losing weight through keto is the way we lose weight through every other eating modification, and that is through caloric deficit, all right? How do we lose weight, you guys? This is every diet. I need everybody to tell me, like, I need you to write every diet, every eating modification, everything. It is caloric deficit. The thing about keto is that they they say once you get keto adapted, you should be able to go without eating for two or three days, right? A lot of people use intermittent fasting and keto together, right? Because I'm going to be real. If you eat two avocados, uh, a slice of steak, and some kale, you in that one meal, you've probably eaten, and some butter, because you got to put butter on there. Um, 
you probably eating your day's worth of calories in one meal, right? So the people have to intermittent fast. Otherwise, they're going to overeat, okay? And my, my concern with many people who are just fascinated by the food choices for keto is that you will lose that initial 20 pounds, go to the doctor, and the doctor's going to be like, oh, you lost weight. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the doctor tells you that your bad cholesterol is too high because you've been eating too many high fatty foods and not understanding what's going on with your body. So that's why it's very, very important for you to consult with your doctor for sure. So caloric deficit, right? So a lot of people marry intermittent fasting and um, keto together. But that's just because in general, we overeat as Americans. Okay, so I'm just going to put that out there. Um, Intermittent fasting within itself, you guys, is just a way to restrict your calories. So you decide what you are willing to do, right? Like, do you not want to eat between the hours of 6 p.m. and 7 a.m.? Is that just what you don't want to do? You just want a small window? That's up to you. That's a personal preference, right? Personal preference. So um, if I was to have someone who was doing low carb or doing or choosing keto friendly foods, what are some products that I would suggest from Herbalife, let's just say if they had to be under 50 grams of carbohydrates or I'm going to drop it all the way down, 20 grams of carbohydrates per day. All right. Um, Number one, I'm going to always, 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 always suggest a multivitamin. Okay. Everybody needs a multivitamin. So I'm going to always suggest that. Um, Definitely probiotics, fiber, you got to get your fiber some type of way because a lot of you guys end up being very stopped up, okay? Um, I would suggest, uh, let's see, where did I put it? I, I put it somewhere else. Um, okay, 22 grams of net carbs, cool. Um, aminogen, um, I'll show you guys that. You know, aminogen, aminogen is, um, helps to break down the protein that you eat, Okay. So if you're eating like your chicken and the and you're having even like I eat it after my protein shake, um, it helps to break down the protein into smaller building blocks so your body can use it. Okay, um, and it just it just helps uh, helps it to be a little bit more gentle in the digestive process. So I would suggest this for real because I'm a meat eater. I'm I'm a meat I I will stake it out every single day for sure. I would take a minogen after that. All right. So write that down. That's number one. Um, number two, I thought I brought it, but I brought two of the same bottles. Cellulose. Cellulose, cellulose. I would say cellulose for sure. Um, because it has apple cider vinegar in it. And if you are doing a high protein diet, such as keto, or you're doing a low carb, high protein diet, um, for sure. Apple cider vinegar will help with um, like breaking down of protein hanging out in your kidneys, right? We don't want to have too much protein, right? One thing about keto, you got to remember, it's not unlimited fat. It's not unlimited protein. It's not unlimited anything, right? Everything has to be controlled. (laughs) So just to remember that. So cellulose is very, very important. Um, A probiotic, right? Uh, No, this doesn't have any sugar in it. No, no sugar. No sugar in these things so far. Um, pro- probiotic is really, really good because a lot of our stomach and our gut flora is wacky. So um, this has no sugar. It can be put in hot drinks. It can be in cold drinks. And you can add it in any foods. You can, like, mix it in whatever you're eating. You know, I, don't, I don't know what y'all eat, but... You know, in no refrigeration needed. Probiotics are really good, especially if you experience a lot of bloating or you have issues with going to the bathroom. It just helps. Probiotics are just good for everybody in general. Okay, just in general, I'll say that much. Um, I know a lot of people want to know about the shakes. Like, can I have a shake? Can I have a shake? For Grace, Grace says 22 net carbs. Um, I would say the shake probably would not be the best choice for her because... Just to break down what that is, it's 13 grams of carbs, 9 grams of protein, 9 grams of sugar, which because she only can have 22, probably using too much up at once, especially if she wants to drip out her carbohydrates throughout the day. Um, 
So, but if you are a person who can, who can have like 55 net carbs or 50 net carbs a day, then you can have one shake a day, right? Definitely you can have that. And, um, the, the shakes do not have a lot of sugar either. Okay. Um, the next thing that I would say outside of the shakes that are, um, definitely keto friendly or low carb friendly is the beverage mix. The beverage mix tastes like Kool-Aid. It comes in peach mango and it comes in wild berry. Tastes like, that tastes like red Kool-Aid. This is um, 15 grams of protein, 2 grams of carbs, and no sugar in this. Okay? So if you're just like one of those people, you're just tired of drinking water or for whatever reason when you count your macros, like you're under your protein amount, this is a great way to um, get your protein in and get your water in without adding sugar or calories or um, carbs, okay? So that's what I would, those, these are just some friendly things. Um, another one that I really, really like with, uh, I, I'll say when I did keto, what I really loved about it is that my skin did glow because I ate a lot of healthy fats, right? Um, and so this is a collagen booster that you can either drink in the water, um, or you can like add it with your aloe and tea, which I'll talk about in a second. This, um, has two grams of protein in it. If you don't know, collagen is one of the, um, it's collagen is one of the pure forms of protein. Anyway, this tastes really, really good. Um, and it doesn't have any sugar in it. It has stevia, you know, stevia leaf extract, but that's about it, right? Has biotin in it, niacin, great for her hair, skin, and nails. So two grams of pro two grams of carbs though, just want to say that, and two grams of protein, 20 calories. So that's the other thing. Um what else I wanna say? Now, if you are one of those people, you just like shakes. Like, if you're like me, I like shakes. I like smoothies, right? Especially when it gets hot outside. Or uh, if I'm just like on the go, I'm like, what about what about a shake? Like, do I have to stop doing that? And there's some people who um, who are like, D, I really want to do these shakes, <laughs> right? So a way that you can actually do the shake is um, so so you can make a protein shake. You won't use a regular Formula One like I use with with the vitamins and minerals in it, but you can use the protein drink mix, and this by itself with two scoops is 15 grams of protein, five carbs, um, and one gram of sugar, okay? So you can get the vanilla protein. It comes in um, chocolate and peanut cookie as well, but let's just say you started off with vanilla. You can get this, and you can boost it with a protein we have called personalized protein, okay? Personalized protein. The personalized protein will give you even more protein inside of your um, inside of your smoothie, and it, it'll give you extra, it's just five grams of sugar, zero carbs in it, um, and when you add two scoops, I think that's an extra 15 grams, so you really can have a 30 gram of protein shake my suggestion, if you wanted to flavor it, would be like to add peanut butter or add PB2, right? PB2 is a powdered peanut butter, less calories um, and a little bit less fat. Or you can do like an avocado shake since that is a fruit and it, and it tastes good to me, right? You can do spinach, right? You can do just the idea that way, a different way to flavor your um to flavor your shakes. So if you're like, I really would do well with a shake in the morning, that's a way for you to do it without a lot of, a lot more carbs that, that I would drink in a day or the sugar that would be there in a day. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. and the next thing I'll say finally is the coffee. The high protein iced coffee is one of, I think the most amazing products that we have. And that has five carbs, 15 grams of protein and just two grams of sugar. So if you're a coffee drinker and you're like, I love lattes or you drink bulletproof coffee with the, with the butter in there. Um, this is, it's just a really great option. I would say for people who want to mix it up, especially if you're doing keto, all right. Or you're doing low carb. So I hope that that helps you guys. 
um, it's important to remember when you are doing keto or any type of diet, you want to get like high quality foods as possible, right? Um, just because you're on keto, don't be like, I can get fried chicken now. No, okay? You still got to make sure you have high quality foods, high quality meats, high quality fats, almonds, peanuts, um, watching the sodium, of course, um, olives, making sure you have um, high quality, you know, oils and stuff like that that you cook with, ghee, carry gold butter. Those are things that are very, very important when you are pursuing that type of lifestyle. And lastly, you guys, anything you choose is up to you and anything you choose will work if you work it, right? If you, when, when you find your flow in life and when you find what eating pattern works for you, whether it's Herbalife, whether it's keto, whether it's traditional meal prep, whether it's intermittent fasting, even if it's paleo, if it is, I don't know, like vegan, whatever, whatever works for you works for you, but you just got to do it long enough to see what it works for. And inside of that whole concept, you have to remember this before you do anything to lose weight and do all of this, you got to do it first for your health, right? First for your health. When the gut is happy, the mind is happy and we're able to do what we need to do, right? So first make the decision for your health because when you make a decision for your health, you're making a decision for your future. You're making a decision for your why. Why are you, why are you staying on earth long enough to have enough energy to do this and that, right? Um, say, I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this for my health. I'm doing this for my future. And I'm telling you guys this. Once you make that decision for your health, then things will fall into place. Weight loss, lack of like less bloating, more mental clarity, better sleep. But you have to make that decision first for your health, just a basic level of survival. Okay. So, um, those are my suggestions. Oh, last thing, aloe and tea, major keys helps with, um, Helps with indigestion. The aloe is great to soothe the digestive system. And the tea gives you energy if you are not allergic to like teas, green teas, black teas, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, just wanted to share that information with you. I will continue. I will post those products like in a post with it by, like together. And um, I'll also probably take segments of this video and post it. So I love you guys dearly. I hope that helped you. Um, you can put the aloe in the water, Grace. So you just put, it's like three capsules and then you put it in the water and then you drink it. Just like a glass of water. Very, very easy. Um, so yeah. Okay. Um, feel free to share this with you. You can add it to the tea. So we have like a, a tea. I only have it, but um, it's like a thing of aloe and then you can add it to the tea concentrate that we have. Um, and those go together. Yeah. Thank you, Grace. Thank you for your input, Grace. Always appreciate you being on my post. I appreciate that. Um, and if you guys have any questions, I'm open to it. Um, if you think I'm wrong, okay. And um, if you have any comments or concerns, I'm open and um, to learning from you. And um, yeah, feel free to tag anybody you have in here, okay? Love you, Sue. Love you guys. Bye-bye.